acids and bases. Watch the rainbow connection video. The image is from the beginning of the video. As you watch, know that this magic trick is all done with acids, bases, and acid base indicators. See if you can figure out how this magic trick is done. Acids versus base. Acids donate a hydrogen ion, taste sour, have a low pH, turn litmus red, and react with metals to produce hydrogen H2 gas. Bases are usually hydroxides, OH minus ions. They taste bitter, have a high pH, turn litmus blue, and feel slippery. Litmus is extracted from lichens. It's a compound that is purple in a neutral solution, red in the presence of acid and blue in the presence of base. Because the color of litmus is sensitive to the pH of the solution, we call this an acid-base indicator. Unlike red cabbage juice, litmus has only two colors, and the combination between the two, red and blue, is equal to purple. Take a moment and pause the video. Consider which foods you have eaten that are acids and which are bases. I wanted to share warheads with you during this discussion because taste and smell are highly correlated with memory. If you have access to sour candy now, pop one in your mouth as you finish watching this video. Acids and bases. Acid plus base yields liquid water and salt. Acids release hydrogen H plus ions in water and bases absorb hydrogen H plus ions. For example, H plus plus OH minus yields water. The other product is a salt. For example, HCl hydrochloric acid and NaOH sodium hydroxide yields water and sodium chloride a salt. Strong acids and bases. These dissociate completely in water. Be careful with them. Acids in water are hydrochloric acid, HCl, hydrobromic acid, HBr, hydroiodic acid, HI, nitric acid, HNO3, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and perchloric acid, HClO4. Strong bases in water are sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, rubidium hydroxide, RBOH, cesium hydroxide, CSOH, ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH, calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, barium hydroxide, BaOH2, and strontium hydroxide, SrOH2. What is sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3, or baking soda? In water, sodium bicarbonate dissolves to form two ions. NaHCO3 forms sodium plus ions and the bicarbonate negative ion. Bicarbonate, HCO3 minus aqueous, can both donate and accept an H plus ion. So bicarbonate, HCO3 minus aqueous, is both an acid and a base. When it can react as both an acid and a base, we say that it is amphoteric. pH scale. This column contains four columns hydrogen ion concentration, hydroxide ion concentration, the pH, and whether the solution is acidic, neutral, or basic. In row one, the hydrogen ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative three. The hydroxide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11. The pH is three, and the solution is acidic. In row two, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative four. Hydroxide ion concentration is 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 10. The pH is equal to four and the solution is acidic. 
In row three, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative seven. The hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative seven. The pH is seven and the solution is neutral. In row four, hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative nine. The hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative five. The pH is equal to nine and the solution is basic. In row five, the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 11. The hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative three. The pH is 11 and the solution is basic. How are the hydrogen ion and the pH related? pH scale. When a water-based solution is neutral, this means that the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration where the use of square brackets means the concentration is in units of molarity. We call this condition pH seven. Because acid and base react with each other, the sum of pH and pOH is always equal to 14 at room temperature. pH plus pOH equals 14. Note that the pH scale is logarithmic, so a change from pH seven to pH six means the amount of acid is 10 times larger at pH six. Here is an infographic showing what sorts of materials have the indicated pH. The scale is zero at the low end, acidic compounds, and high at the base end, low acid. Note that the colors in this infographic are from a mixture of acid-base indicators that is called universal indicator. Cabbage juice like universal indicator contains three different indicators, but has a different color scheme. Solution acidity or basicity. When the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration, we say the solution is neutral. When the hydrogen ion concentration is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration, we say the solution is acidic. When the hydrogen ion concentration is less than the hydroxide ion concentration, we say the solution is basic. Measuring pH. There are a variety of plant-based compounds, including litmus, whose color changes in a given pH region. One color is the acid color, red for litmus, and the other is the base color, blue, for litmus. Litmus is an anthocyanin, which means its color is sensitive to pH. Anthocyanins are also present in red cabbage, the red part of radishes, and flower petals, among other plants. This infographic shows you how to make red cabbage juice, which you've already done in class, and the resulting colors as a function of pH. While universal indicator is expensive, Red cabbage juice is easy to make, and the red cabbage is usually readily available year-round.